Today, we will be examining Columbus's multimodal transportation program under a vision zero and socially just framework. In considering what type of program would contribute to a socially just city, we focused on three key categories. Does the program understand the problem? Does it consider all the stakeholders? And does it have a plan in place to evaluate its outcomes? A socially just program, and one that would therefore contribute to a socially just city, would demonstrate a clear understanding of the problem, its root causes, and clearly state its goals. A socially just program would also have a clear understanding of its most affected community members, and then involve those community members in the development of the program. Lastly, the program should have a clear plan in place to evaluate its effectiveness. Cities are leading the way in job creation and housing construction. Businesses are looking to locate in vibrant, attractive urban areas where their workers want to live. More and more people of varying ages and demographics want options for where they can live and how they can move about their city. This trend is happening amidst a revolution in the world of urban transportation with new technologies and mobility services rapidly entering the market. Due to this changing landscape, cities must adapt their transportation systems to meet the changing mobility needs and expectations of their citizens. Trends are changing, and people now prefer to live in urban areas more than ever. Columbus provides a city-wide transportation policy framework. The city of Columbus envisions a future where walking, biking, shared mobility, and using transit is as easy as convenient, providing a variety of mobility options that meet the needs of all residents. This policy framework guides future transportation decisions and investment throughout the city. It informs the development of a new multimodal thoroughfare plan, updated rules and regulations, and guides future transportation decisions and investment throughout the city by establishing goals of future transportation initiatives and partnerships. In assessing the Columbus Multimodal Plan, we found that it excelled in its understanding of the problem, but leaves room for improvement in its consideration of the relevant stakeholders and its plan to assess the program outcomes. The stakeholders are somewhat addressed through the multimodal plan, but not to the desired extent. The plan asserts that urban areas are more prone to traffic incidents, but it falls short of addressing the demographics of the people living there and how they are disproportionately affected by these traffic incidents. There were some community engagement efforts, but it is unclear whether the community members that were engaged are those primarily affected by the problem. Finally, the program plan states the need for an evaluation, but does not provide any details on how it will specifically approach an evaluation. We determined that understanding the problem was less critical than considering the stakeholders and making an evaluation plan. Considering this weighted system, we would grade the Columbus Multimodal Plan as a B-. For our analysis of refocusing the plan to prioritize on achievable outcomes and therefore improving the plan in general by a Vision Zero framework and a socially just rubric, um, obviously reprioritizing and achieving uh, Creating achievable outcomes is a high priority, reemphasizing stakeholders and their input, and also reevaluating some of the current designs that are within the Columbus Multimodal Plan to align better with a Vision Zero framework. For example, in one of the presentations, uh, they presented a uh, proposal of a street where it has a center left right center lane, um, also known colloquially as a suicide lane. These lanes are incredibly dangerous um, and increase traffic fatalities, which is the opposite of a Vision Zero framework and also does not align with a socially just rubric. So for our end notes and conclusions, um, Vision Zero is a framework that was designed in Sweden, has been adopted all over the world and is a good guideline for how cities in the future should design their transit systems to not only refocus on equity, but also refocus on a multi-pronged approach to transportation through pedestrians, bicycling, uh, public transportation, cars, etc. Um, because of this, many of Columbus's goals do align with the Vision Zero and the socially just rubric. However, it does fall short in a number of areas, specifically the stakeholder input and defined outcomes. Thank you for so much for listening to our presentation. Here are our citations, and we hope you all have a great day.